Posta. This is Sir Chris. Um, we are here to perform a very, very exciting science experiment. So as you can see on the table, I have here my different materials for our science experiment. So first, I have here um, some simple paper. Paper. We have latex gloves. We have some cotton balls here. We have also here plastic cellophane. We have also here our aluminum foil. And also, most important is our RC car. So this activity will be helping you uh, uh, information about how electromagnetic waves behave in a certain material. Um, we're going to perform it not here inside, but we're going to perform it outside. So let's go! So first, wrap the uh, antenna of the RC car and then completely secured and covered. And we're going also to use a stopwatch. So we're going to measure the time of the RC car travel from one place to another. And then after that one, we repeat the step one, two, three using different materials. So it's paper, latex glove, uh, cottons, and we have also an aluminum foil and a plastic sack. Back to our science lab. Okay, so we are going now to explain to you the, the scientific uh, explanation about on our experiment. So before I start explaining, I want uh, making sure that you are able to answer the, the guide questions given to you. So as you can see, we're, uh, we are using a remote control car. And this remote control car is using some type of electromagnetic wave. The, the type of electromagnetic wave used in RC car, our, our remote control car, is a radio wave. So radio waves are the electromagnetic waves found or at the left end of the electromagnetic spectrum. So, you, uh, so we all know that the radio wave has the longest wavelength of all of the electromagnetic waves in the spectrum. And, it, and it's arranged, the electromagnetic wave spectrum is arranged from the lowest um, wavelength and to the highest wavelength and also from lowest frequency to the highest frequency so it's arranged depending on its one so there are different types of electromagnetic waves that we can see so they're longer they're of shorter frequency so thereby they are carrying different types of energy and can be used in different uh, applications so the whole region of the radio waves we are using here is divided into smaller regions so we have we have we call this one as wave bands so each wave band is allocated uh, by the law of the specific radio services so this one is we are using i think it's using 27 megahertz so this is a type of remote control that's using a 27 meg megahertz so uh, we have also here mga extreme low frequency uh, frequency range we have also very low frequency we have also low frequency we have medium frequency, high frequency, we have also very high frequency, 
and also we have also my ultra high frequency each of those wave band has specific applications for us for example low frequency uh, low frequency band is used for radio communication it's ranging from 30 to 300 kilohertz and its wavelengths around 1 to 10 kilometers and wavelength the wavelength of this low frequency that we bend we have also here the medium frequency or the mf it's uh, ranging from 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz so it's around 100 meters to 1 kilometers 1 kilometer sorry 100 meters and 1 kilometer wavelength range so it's used for radio communication for example it's used for am radio broadcasting so we have also here next for major frequency we have also high frequency uh, ranging from 3 to 30 megahertz and the wavelength range is around 10 to 100 meters the wavelength range range so this high frequency is used for radio communication also for am radio broadcasting now for those also who are really fond of listening from fm station very high frequency or vhf is used the range of the frequency is around 30 to 300 megahertz so from 1 to 10 meters the the actual the actual wavelength range and it's used also again it's used on fm radio broadcasting and also vhf or very high frequency it's also used for tv broadcasting and last but not the least are, are we have oh sorry we have also three we have also the uhf the ultra high frequency ranging from 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz and around 10 centimeters to 1 centimeter the band and also this is our use also for radio broadcasting and we have last two we have super high frequency and extremely high frequency these are used the super high frequency are used for radio communication and also for satellite communication for super high frequency the range is the frequency range is around 3 to 30 gigahertz imagine it's, the frequency is so uh, higher or higher than the usual but the wavelength is around 1 to 10 centimeter and also we have extremely high frequency we have 30 to 300 gigahertz and uh, the, the wavelength is one millimeter to one centimeter wavelength low frequency waves are suitable for communication over great distances but the problem is the curvature of our earth um, limits the distance traveled by around 80 kilometers that's why to extend the range of the signal is we are going to use a repeater so a repeater receives the signal and retransmits it to the receiving station so the high frequency waves can be reflected because of the reflected of the uh, ionosphere and atmosphere we're going also to use uh, this repeater so in the radio station sound is converted by a microphone into patterns of electric or current variation called because it has audio frequency signals and this high frequency radio waves are or also known as the rf carriers can be modulated to match the electronic signal the, amp the amplitude modulation is also used to um to increase the the wavelength and that's why the RF carriers can change and match it to the audio frequency signal. And this is used in standard broadcasting, like like um, MOR and other stuff like UHP and other stuff. So, and this standard frequency are they're also used um, using this kind of uh, signals with the long distance coverage. So, a very high frequency which provides a higher quality broadcasting, including the stereo of the sound. It's processed and the average carrier, but the problem is we need to use a repeater to extend the signal. So we call this one as um, frequency modulation. And since we're talking about radio waves, radio waves has different or following characteristics. First, we have A, we have not line of sight. So not line, so it's really hard for quality the characteristics. Second, we have can pass through walls. So that's one of the very good characteristics of radio waves. They can pass through walls. 
Third, we have also they can also um, have longer range of travel. Fourth, we have they are not light sensitive, unlike on other electromagnetic waves. Some of the disadvantages also of radio frequencies that includes this in the following. So first, we have communication devices that make sure all the same frequency will interrupt or interfere with their transmission. B, easier to eavesdrop. So we can uh, always support for, for military applications so other people could, could really receive the signals from other other enemies or something like that. So you can eavesdrop, you can listen to others who are talking, even if it's not for you, the signals. And lastly, C, or uh, the third one, the disadvantage is that they are most costly and uh, most costly than infrared. Again, this is your surface saying, uh, I hope you enjoyed the experiment, the science experiment. So this will be all for today. Goodbye and stay curious. Bye-bye.